beautiful outside. It's a fresh, brand new day, day that I love. A brand new day to get it together. Another chance, second chance to get it together. If yesterday was bad, then we got today. Thank you, Lord, for today. Now, the scripture today is coming from Colossians chapter 3. We've got two verses today. Oh, I know it's a lot, but just try to hang in there. You know, we want to continue to grow in God. You know, we can't get stuck in one place. We can't just stay on milk. You know, babies, they move from milk to meat. You know, as they get older, they start eating regular table food. So, if I bump it up to scriptures, don't get upset. Just know that it is time to grow. In the beginning, we did one scripture. Now it's time to do two. I don't know, we might end up doing 15 the next time. So, just be prepared, okay? Just stay tuned. Anywho, it's coming from Colossians chapter 3, verses 12 and 13 give you a second to find it if you don't have your Bible then you know you can always follow along with moi okay put on therefore as the elect of God holy and beloved bowels of mercy kindness humbleness of mind meekness long-suffering forbearing one another and forgiving one another if any man have a quarrel against any even as Christ forgave you, so also do ye. You. you know, some people aren't really forgiving. Somebody has wronged you in your past, and it is the kind of wrong where you like, okay, I will never forgive this person for this. That person really made me mad. They did something, and I will never forgive them for that. And what if Christ was like that? You know, what if... Christ was like, okay, you did all that stuff in the past. I, it's the future, and I'm still not going to forgive you for what you did. And you know what? You're not coming to heaven. And you won't have any money, and you'll stay broke for the rest of your life. Do you know that if God, if Christ thought, thought like that, God is Christ, Christ is God. If that happened, all of us would be broke okay we won't have anything we are all sinners and you know people have done things to me but I had to get over that you know because I want blessings and I want to have a great life I want a happy life and if I don't forgive this person or those people I won't be able to move on I won't be able to get blessed and get all that good stuff you know because you know God has great things for all of us you know but we have to live our lives right you know we have to have forgiveness we have to have a clean mouth, a clean mind. It's hard. Yeah, it's hard. And you know, it's, you know, this world, they'll pull us in all kinds of holes. But we have got to be on guard. We've got to be prepared. And the only way to prepare is to read the Word of God. And I decide to read that every morning. And, you know, and if you don't have time, then, hey, we can do it together. We can, you can tune in to these blogs, these blogs, I mean, with me. And, you know, we can just go on from there. So be encouraged. You know, it's people out there to destroy you. And you cannot let these people get you down, okay? You know, it's common sense to tell yourself, yeah, I can do this. I can forgive him. But sometimes it's a little better for someone else to tell you, someone who encourages you and, you know, tells you, hey, you can forgive that person. And let me tell you something. Come close. It's not that hard. It's not that hard. They love whoever wronged you. They are suffering or going to suffer for what they did. Everything, what goes around, comes around, okay? And that's what people don't fail to believe. You know, my mom, she was laughing about that. You know, me and her both were laughing about it. And she said, people don't realize that what goes around comes around. And it's a cycle, whether it's good or bad. It's going to come back to you. If you help somebody cross the street, that good is going to come back to you in some form. You probably won't even be able to recognize it. You know, you'll just be like, oh, goodness, why well, I find all this money in my pocket? Or, oh, my gosh, I just got a raise. I don't know why I didn't do anything. It's from God. It's a reward. On the other hand, there are situations where, oh, man, I just lost my job. Or, they ain't got no money, ain't got no income or nothing. Um, ain't nothing good happening for me. That's probably a punishment for something, or you need to do something, get it together, you know. Um, 
things that don't just happen, okay? It's a reason for everything, okay? Good or bad, it's a reason for everything. So on that note, let's keep this cycle positive. Let's keep this cycle great and, you know, happy and good things happening for us. And if we want good things to happen, we've got to sow those good seeds, you know? We've got to put out good things. And a great thing to do is to forgive. That's a step. Okay, so if it's somebody out there who's done you wrong, forget it, okay? It's, I know it hurts. I know the past is ugly sometimes, but whatever. That's the past. That's why it's behind you. It's time to move on. Have a fresh new mind, a fresh new beginning, and a fresh start. Have a blessed day.